He's back home. I just feel like as an adult, we have to make adult decisions. And for me, this is just a little bit too much. It feels like marriage counseling couples counseling oh yes babe i can see this looking too cute girl you need to calm down <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. Today is March 25th. We are getting this Monday started with some deep cleaning. My cleaners are here. I'm so, so happy that I have finally made the decision to start back delegating. And then my girl has moved back to Houston. She moved back around January and she is here now. At first it was a team of one, but now she has three people. I'm in this closet getting some stuff done, so I'll check in with y'all later. I'm about to hang up my boots. I just put the tension rod up. I have one, two, five pair of boots that we're about to hang up. Let's get to it. This is what the clips look like. <laughs> This is what the boots look like. This thing has fallen like six times. I'm gonna put those beach hats in a little box. And then this I'm gonna build probably today, probably tomorrow. All right, y'all, the girlies are gone. They have did such a great job. I am so happy that my girl is back in here to stay. Y'all have no idea. So I told y'all a couple months ago that she had to leave and now she's back. She gave me a little bit more details. She has made so much growth within her cleaning company since the last time she's been here, which is probably like a year and a half ago. So there were three ladies in here and they were done within like an hour and a half to two hours with two beds, two baths, a kitchen, a living room, and in a balcony. I would have never been able to do everything that they were able to do within two whole hours, y'all. I don't think I shared with y'all, but Myra ended up calling some cleaners to the apartment that he found on Google in October or November. And there were some Jamaican aunties and it was about five of them. I was like, first of all, there's no need to have five people in this apartment. It don't take five people. You know, y'all might need the dust, the ceiling fans, the baseboards, all that, but it don't take five people. So I just felt like it was cluttered in here. And I honestly feel like they didn't do a really good job. So I didn't call them back. But y'all, when I tell y'all, something just told me to text my girl. I'm gonna call her E. Text E and say, hey, you know, how's everything been going with you? She's like, hey girl, let me, what's up? Where you been? Okay? <laughs> So we're back in the rotation. I'm back on retainer with my girl. I don't know if I'm gonna do every five weeks or six weeks. It's probably gonna float between five to six weeks. Um, just because it's only me and Rocco in here and I can do like the basics like sweeping and mopping and stuff like that. But anyway, they vacuumed the couch. They vacuumed the couch. They cleaned the couch. They took the sofa cushions off the couch cleaned inside the couch vacuum swept mop dusted they cleaned the ceiling fans they cleaned the baseboards they cleaned my two floor to ceiling windows um she loaded the dishwasher unloaded the dishwasher took all my pots and pans and all the stuff that's in my cabinet like the cups and stuff like that took all of it out whatever didn't have a top she threw it away um they went in the bathrooms cleaned the bathrooms both of them both tubs my shower the sink the walls they cleaned the walls 
especially the wall in front of the island because y'all know like when people sit up here and they have on shoes um it leaves those marks this is clothes that i need to take to the goodwill and then they left trash that i'm gonna sit outside for the people to pick up but they did their thing did i say they made up my bed but yeah they made up the bed i paid them a hefty tip because I just was like, wow, I was not going to do all this. Like, today I was going to clean up. I just, I'm not going to be down here cleaning no baseboards and stuff. Now, if I was working from home or if I was a, a housewife, honey, stay at home wife, I would definitely have more time to do the things. Now, what I do it is another question because I just feel like if I can pay somebody to do it, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm like that in many different areas of my life. So yeah, I'm happy they're back on retainer, y'all. So yeah, right now I am cleaning out my dresser again. I'm on to the next two parts right here. These are my night clothes. I'm getting rid of some stuff. I might tore up my dresser. I just gotta put the nails back on there. And I'm actually gonna spray paint these until I get a whole new bedroom set, but I gotta go through this one next. But I have this stuff that I got to fold up and put it back in my drawer. And these are just like walk around the house, throw on clothes. I got some Christmas stuff in here and stuff like that. So we're about to get into this. I don't think I told y'all, but we have worked out today. I did 30 minutes cardio. Um, I think that equated to two miles. And my goal is 10,000 steps every single day. We're about to just get these drawers organized and get rid of stuff that I no longer wear because I am going to be ordering some more loungewear. All right, y'all, I need to change the battery. Let me go ahead and get it out. We are at HEB, about to get our groceries for the week. I do have a short work week. This week, I'm only working three days. I'm more than happy about that. You know why? Because I get to save money on groceries. I just sat here and made my grocery list. Normally, I make my list by meal, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, but this time I made my list by section because I'm really not cooking this week. Like I'm getting meals that don't require lots of prep or cooking because it's a short week. Today's already Monday. So I don't know if y'all could see my list, but it's organized by produce, pantry, meat, outside aisles and things like that so that's how we are going to be shopping today it's 6 45 we're gonna start the timer at 6 50 because i got to change the battery put my shoes on get myself together get out the car um but i want to be in the store 20 minutes getting this stuff so from 6 50 to 7 o'clock that's my time to make groceries so yeah I will hit y'all up once we are inside the store. Veggie pasta. I already have Halo Top in my salads. Protein shake. Energy drink. Olipop. Lemon herb butter. Yogurt. Turkey bacon. Protein cups. I'm gonna get blueberry. Cinnamon maple. And another cinnamon maple. Got my corn. Getting my salmon, and that's gonna be it. All right, y'all. We are back in the car. It is 7:15. We are five minutes over schedule. I think I told y'all seven o'clock, but sometimes I don't be really listening to myself when I talk because 6:50 to seven o'clock is only 10 minutes. So. It was supposed to be 17. Hold on, I gotta put this camera on charge because both of my batteries was dead. These batteries truly be tripping because it went from blinking, telling me it was about to cut off, to having three notches. Explain how that makes sense because it just don't. Um, yeah, we are leaving HEB now, y'all. We went over time by five minutes because a girl stopped me in the store and she was talking to me about uh, the protein pancakes that I picked up. The protein pancakes in a cup and she asked me how I like them. And I was like, girl, they are protein pancakes. Like, if you have ever had a protein pancake, then you will like them. I really like the Kodiak cake brand. I use their pancake mix and I use those little cups. 
I would try their oatmeal, but I got burned out on oatmeal when, when I was going to my personal trainer. Fun fact, that's when I first started eating oatmeal, and that's when I quickly got burned out because healthy oatmeal is not good, baby. No butter, no sugar. We use Splenda. It was just a lot. But anyway, she was asking me about that, so I, I took the time to talk to her. I didn't rush or anything, so I was like, you know, they're good. She asked me, did I eat them with syrup? And I was like, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I don't eat them with syrup, but somebody else had asked me that before. I eat it dry because I like to cut calories in every place that I can. So yeah, I think tomorrow I'll try them with some syrup and see how the, I like them. We are cleaning the kitchen. I'm not sure how. How is this thing got one battery? One notch? Um, I don't have that many dishes to wash, but I just wanted to come out here and talk to y'all while I wash them. Because there's a situation going on on social media that has everybody in a frenzy. Oh my gosh, the baby's about to die. <sighs> Alright y'all, we are back. There's this situation going on on social media and it's about <clears throat> traveling and having no money. So, if you go on Hollywood Unlocked, you will see a post that says something about if your best friend came on a trip with you and all they had was $135, would you cover them? And I'm just thinking to myself, like, is this a hypothetical situation? Like a situation that you know that ain't gonna happen, you know? Or is this a situation that really happened for real? And somebody trying to get some advice, like on how they handle the situation. For me, I just feel like as an adult, we have to make adult decisions. And I feel like if all you have is $135 left to your name, going on a trip should be the last thing on your mind. And that's just me being me. Um, I think I was reading the comments and I saw people saying that um, she was going on an all-inclusive vacation. And I just feel like, okay, well, if she was going on an all-inclusive vacation, why did the topic of how much money she had come up? Because if you're on an all-inclusive vacation and y'all not leaving a resort or nothing like that, you don't have to spend a quarter. You don't have to spend a dime. However, if you are on a vacation or if you are going on a vacation, people who you know like to leave the hotel, leave the Airbnb, and go and live like the locals, you most definitely should have more than $135 with you at all times. And I just feel like... That's for the sanity of the person who only has $135, as well as the people who you're with. If it was me, I wouldn't want to have my best friend having to worry about having to cover me and themselves. You know, I just wouldn't want to put that burden on nobody. And I feel like in today's world, a lot of people have such high expectations like for a friendship and stuff like that. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Have the highest expectations. But I just feel like it's some things that are a little bit outrageous because what if your friend only got $135? You know what I'm saying? What if your friend only brought $300 with her? And what the group trying to do costs 200 of that. You know, you, you I just feel like as an adult, we have to reach a level of maturity that allows us to make sound decisions and not be mad at other people for not holding us up, upholding us in our wrongdoings. Now, if we're in the States of America and we're going to dinner and all you got is $135, I'm going to cover you. I'm in my home state. If something goes wrong, I could just go home. But I just feel like if you are out of the country and if you yourself as a best friend has a have a limited amount of money and you try to help cover your best friend, somebody else who uh, has a limited amount of money, there's no room for error. You can't lose your passport. You can't lose nothing because then you stranded in another country. 
that's just my line of thinking. Like, I try to think about all situations like that. If you are going on a trip and all you have is $135, if that's what you want to do, then that's cool. You should have a credit card at the very least. Like, let's go ahead and use that credit card as backup because you don't want to be a burden to other people. A lot of people in the comments are saying things like, I'm a real friend, I'm a real friend this, I'm a real friend that. But I don't know if I consider this like a testament of real friendship. Because to me, a real friend would be like, sis, all you got is $135, we about to cancel this trip. <laughs> Cause I ain't got number 300, okay? You know? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like a real friend would be like, babe, the best thing for you to do right now is to stay at home. I say what you want me to. That's what a real friend would do. But all these people leaving think pieces in the comments talking about, I'ma cover my friend, I'ma cover my friend. I think that's awesome if you have it. But don't shun other people for saying, no, I'm not gonna cover my friend. I'm gonna tell her to stay her ass at home. <laughs> you can't shun other people for that. I don't know. I just feel like we sometimes we live in an alternate reality. Like people will say what they gonna do in these situations, and then when the situation come, they doing the complete opposite. <laughs> I just feel like for me, I would tell my friend, babe, it's best for you to stay at home. If we have to postpone this trip, let's postpone it. But if all you got is one hundred and thirty five dollars and you don't have a credit card, I don't, I don't condone maxing out credit cards. I just don't. But if that's all you got, it's not a good idea for you to come on this trip. Like, what if you got to pay bills when you get back? Let me know what y'all thoughts. Like, what would y'all do if y'all went on a trip with a friend and they only had $135? Like, what would, what would be your first thought? I don't know. If it's a hypothetical situation, let me know what you would do. If you were really in that situation, what would you do? For me, if I'm in that situation... And this is a person that I know will pay me back. I will use, I, I will let them use my credit card. But then you have to be careful with stuff like that because I just, I just was on Chelsea video maybe two days ago and her sister was letting somebody use her car and they wrecked it. And now the person just acting like they ain't wrecked the car. You have to be real careful in situations that involve your things that people will not be responsible for. Because now Chelsea's sister got to get a new car. And let's say I let my friend use my car. She can go ghost and then ran my damn car up to $600. Now that's money I have to pay. I don't know. I guess I feel like sometimes I can just be too much of a realist in situations like that. Like realistically, the best bet is for you not to go nowhere. Because you don't want to put nobody in a bind. Hey y'all, I can't stop doing this. Happy Tuesday. Today's March 26th. Can't stop doing this. <laughs> hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Today's March 26th, like I just said. We have so much catching up to do. Oh my gosh, y'all, today has been so busy yet super duper productive. I just find it so funny how I can be so productive off three to four hours of sleep i really need to do the research to find out why is that always the case for me sometimes when i have a full a full night worth of rest i'm exhausted the next day on those days where i don't have much sleep y'all i just be running 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 so we have placed our fashion over order it should be here thursday i do my one day shipping and i really hope fashion over don't fail me because they normally come when they say they're gonna come for me so i really need them to come thursday i also just placed an amazon order um of some things that have been in my cart since last week y'all know i have been telling y'all i needed to get a desk chair um picture lights i've been talking about picture lights for the last two weeks um i also got some knobs for my ikea cabinets to kind of dress it up a little bit but y'all one thing about me i take my time when it when it comes to anything like making decisions i take my time with everything okay so when it comes to me redecorating and rephasing and stuff like that it takes me a long time to find what i like 
And then instead of me ordering it to see how it looked in my space and if I actually like it, it takes me a while to order it. Like, I don't know why I just don't order it and see what it looked like. And then if I don't like it, I just send it back. So I'm trying to reframe my mind to do that. So I just ordered some picture lights. I just decided to do gold because the black and gold ones that I was seeing, like black and gold together, they were ugly. And then I wanted some super duper small. I'm talking about mini picture lights for that area. Uh, but girl, I'm not going to pay $60 for no picture light. Just for one picture light. Are you crazy? I think so. This is how small it is, y'all. And I know y'all looking at the screen like, Aaliyah, what is that? It's small. It's cute. I like it. Y'all, today was a good day. I had to write two reports today, get some paperwork ready for tomorrow, and I had two meetings. I did have to cancel some sessions that I had today, uh, which I'm always bummed out about canceling because I don't like to do makeup. We got a package, we got a package, and it's from Fancy, and it's from Fancy. I was telling y'all in the last vlog that Kyra shared the 30% off coupon girl and i took full advantage look at this box this is so cute it says fancy skin and beauty i don't think i have ever purchased from the actual fancy website like when i buy my fancy stuff i either go in sephora or i go in ulta so yeah they got it packaged so nice for me like i almost don't want to mess it up Here's the first thing. I think this might be the body butter. So crazy. Chelsea on her vlog. I'm watching Chelsea's vlog, by the way. Chelsea's on her vlog talking about how she, um, girl, I know this ain't the perfume, boo-boo. It is. Baby, I know I ordered the biggest one bag for $100. I may have to call Rihanna. Cause what is this, ma'am? I was watching Chelsea's video. She's posting about the body butter, and I was like, oh my God. I'm so happy that I purchased the body butter to go along with my perfume. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Y'all, look at this. A hundred dollars. 75 milliliters. I can't believe it. Rihanna is taxing. It just smells so sexy. Ooh, child. Mm hmm Yeah, I hope she starts selling some refills. I think the bottle is so classy. I paid $105 for this 75 milliliter bottle. No, actually, I pay $98. I pay $98. Right now, it's on sale for $105. Original price, $140 for this tiny bottle. $140. I mean, when I tell y'all, I get compliments literally every single time I wear this perfume. Literally. And it, to me, it's kind of androgynous. Like... I believe both men and women can wear this. It smells so good. And I'm usually not the girl to go for the scents that can be worn by both sexes. I'm normally like a gourmand or a floral type of girl. But baby, when I smell that, I was like, hello. Packaging, 10 out of 10 stars. So this is the body butter. Y'all, this is so sleek. Like, ah, wow, this is so cute. Mm-hmm. And it comes with the scoop. All right, Riri, you done did some here, babe. Girl, I done got this stuff on my nose. Yeah, this is definitely giving grown, sexy on her stuff about her business mm -hmm. do y'all normally buy like lotion when y'all buy perfume because you know sometimes you can get a set 
I normally don't. I just always go for the perfume. I can't even lock that thing back in. Yeah, this was a good buy. So I got the perfume. I got the body butter. I got um, a little mini face mask and toner duo. I was hearing a lot of girls talk about the fat water, so I decided to give it a try. I am a in retrospect type of person. Like when stuff becomes popular, I'm normally not the first girl to go grab it. I like for other people to test it out, and then I go get it. Like months and months later. So because I spent so much money, I got a free bag. And it got cherries. Y'all know the cherry trend is in right now. I'm still mad I couldn't get those Skims pajamas. Those cherry ones. I think they are so freaking cute. But I think I'm going to use this for like my lipsticks and my lip glosses. It feels so freaking cute. And it says Fenty Skin. I love it. I don't know why I say I love it like that, but... Girl, oh my gosh, not the little cherry zipper. Do you see this? Do not play with me. Do not play with me, okay? I smell good. My makeup finna be stored good. Yeah. Real grown. Period. Alright y'all, so now that we have unboxed our package, I have been feeling inclined to watch church because I did miss out on Sunday because I wasn't feeling well. So, I am about to watch part three to the relationship series and I kind of want to have a transparent moment with y'all before I start telling y'all about what's been going on. I want y'all to know and I want to reiterate what the message was about last week. So, basically the message was about comprehension within communication and I feel like last week I was just so impatient with my communication with people like I mean I was so impatient like I was annoyed easily by people <laughs> within communication like whether it was through text whether it was through phone call whether it was through meeting I just found myself annoyed like rolling my eyes breathing hard i'm just like oh my gosh what part don't you understand like i just don't understand where the disconnect could have been happening or this is a waste of my time and i just really had to sit with myself today and last weekend was like girl you need to calm down because why are you so annoyed and why are you getting so worked up because i'm not that girl at all like i'm the most patient person that you might meet I'm calm, I'm chill. So I was just so worked up and I'm I'm trying to get to the root of it. But I think the root cause of it all was stress. Like I I was subconsciously stressed because I feel like I don't give off stress, stressful type of vibes. So instead of me saying I'm just overwhelmed with life right now, I was just annoyed. Okay. So I had to sit with myself and give myself a reality check, like girl. You are not showing good communication skills right now. You are not being a good communicator. You're not being a good person because you just rolling your eyes and being annoyed. Like, get with the program. So, with all that being said, y'all, I just want y'all to know that I'm human, okay? And sometimes I just be over it. <laughs> but that don't make it okay. But anyway, we're about to watch church. I got my pencil bag with my highlighters and everything in here. I'm about to go get another battery for this camera. I think I got my phone on charge already. It's 11 o'clock. This message is about 30 something minutes. But you know, with me stopping and taking notes and stuff, it might turn into like 45. But nevertheless, let's get into it. Because when you get your person, y'all get together and you start producing stuff in the earth that cannot be produced any other way. I'm a little old school, so some of y'all is going to be too old for you, but I feel y'all will catch it. I'm a movement by myself. But I'm a force when we're together. I'm good all by myself, but you make me better. Is there anybody in the room today that says, I want somebody that makes me better? I can't punish you for not being what you've never been. You didn't 
fool me. I was foolish. But I was so excited at the wedding. I didn't notice. Rachel kind of built a little different today. <laughs> I'm so excited at the wedding. Rachel walked in a little different today. I'm so excited at the wedding. Rachel said her vows. She didn't really sound the same. All the signs become clear in retrospect. Mm -hmm. Literally, what did I just say a couple clips ago? I am a retrospect type of girl. I do everything in retrospect. I don't like to be the first person to do this. I don't like to be the first person to try new things, to go to this place, to do this, to do that, because I'm a retrospect type of girl. I want to look and see what the other people got going on first before I just jump head first. I got to go do some research, see what's going on, see what the hype is about, see what the talk is about. Literally just said that, y'all. Oh my gosh, I am mind blown, honestly. You can see all the things you didn't look at. Mm -hmm. But Jacob goes back to Lake and say, Bro, <laughs> what were you doing? And Lake said, My bad. He said, I need Rachel. Lake said, I need seven more years. Hmm. Jacob said, yes. I'm like, wait a minute, Jacob. <laughs> but he got a revelation of rare. Mm. Cherishing isn't an emotion, it's an action. The cherishing was revealed in his willingness to work for her. So she, he was working to get her practically. We should be working to keep them emotionally. Mm. See, when you don't work to keep them emotionally, you can assume because you have them, you got them. And I want you to know some people leave even though they never leave. Exactly. You don't realize that the majority of the world don't live like you. The majority of the world does not live, but it is so common that you forgot it's rare. And sometimes you got to look at who you with and really ask yourself objectively. How many more of them did God make? I'm not talking about a man who can write a check or a woman who got a pretty body, but I'm talking about these qualities. Mm -hmm. How many more of them? All right, y'all. So, man, I'm so sleepy. But I'm so glad that I decided to watch this tonight. I knew it was going to be good because every word is good, but child, I didn't know it was going to feel like going through marriage counseling, okay? I ain't know that. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, if you are in a relationship, you are fresh in your relationship, if, which means like one year or less, if y'all have been together for a while, one year or more, if you seasoned, if you not seasoned, this message... This relationship series is for you, okay? We're on part three. The title for today's sermon was, We Got Work to Do. He read from Genesis 29 and 20. Jacob served seven years to get Rachel, but they seemed like only a few days to him because of his love for her. So in everything you do, do it the king's way. If a relationship is operating the king's way, it will have these three things. It will be fruitful, it will be fulfilling, and it will flourish. So in order for a relationship to be fruitful, you guys together are able to produce things that you can't do separate from one, one another. So the biblical reference was Adam and Eve. Um, and he talked about how Eve was Adam's helpmate and Adam felt like he couldn't do anything without his real baby. Okay? <laughs> and then for part two, which is fulfilling, it means to live in a place of relational satisfaction. So this means that, um, so this talks about being fulfilled within your relationship. Are you fulfilled mentally, emotionally, and spiritually? And, you know, if, if something goes wrong in your relationship and you don't know how to properly communicate, you don't know how to properly 
comprehend what your mate is saying. You can't remove your filter, which are the previous words that we learned about. Then you need to know that weeping may, weeping may endure for the night, but joy will come in the morning. Don't spend 10% of your time thinking about the one little thing that you don't like. Always make sure you're thinking about the 90% of the things that are going right. 90% of the things that you do love about your mate. If you are not strong spiritually, then you are weak emotionally. Number three, with flourishing, you thrive emotionally because of where you are relationally. If you don't feel like your relationship is fruitful, fulfilling, or flourishing, then that leads to relationship frustration. Being relationally frustrated is just like you are committed to shopping at one store, but they will not put that one thing you need on the shelf. That leads to frustration. So you have to shift to being fruitful, flourishing, and fulfilling. God wants you to know that everybody that he makes is valuable, but everyone doesn't add unique value to you. So some things and some people are so rare that you will not find them again. So be wise enough to recognize what and who is rare in your life and don't confuse being rare with being common. Don't fumble that bag. So everybody might be replaceable, but everything that they bring to the table is not. And he referred it back to the scripture, Genesis 29 and 20. And basically, he was talking about how Jacob wanted to marry Rachel so bad. He was so excited that he worked for seven years. And then Laban finally granted him his wish of being married. But Jacob was so eager to be in a relationship, he did not lift the veil at the altar to notice that that was not Rachel he was marrying. He was marrying her sister, Leah. He only found out when he consummated the marriage. So basically what he's saying is lift the veil, do your research, don't move too quickly. If you do, you will marry the assumption of who you think somebody is. Okay? And don't blame other people for fooling you because you did not lift the veil. Be a retrospect person. Don't be so quick to believe the hype. And then from there, he talked about four keys to cherish your relationship. So, number one, curiosity. You have to be willing to consistently explore where your mate is at. In this, he talked about not picking a person that's good for a season. You have to be able to trust your partner in every season, whether they be broke, rich, poor, sick, healthy. Honor your mates and stop second-guessing them, especially if they are being dismissed or not heard in other places. Make your person feel seen. Consideration number two, prioritize the needs of your partner. Number three, chasing a never-ending pursuit of a heart even though you have the person. So you have to constantly pursue your significant other, no matter how long y'all be in a relationship, as well as you have to constantly pursue God. And then lastly, number four is commitment. You have to be committed to being consistent in your relationship. So don't be hot one day and then cold the next, because then you create an unsafe environment for your spouse. So make the shift, do the work. Okay, where y'all snaps at? I don't hear y'all snapping. One, two, three. Three snaps for PD. It feels like marriage counseling, couples counseling. I'm telling you, these are the things that they are going to talk about in counseling. Being with your person through every season. Cherishing them. Loving them. Growing together. Not growing up separately at this, at different times, growing together. Y'all, this was good. I'm going to cut it here because I've already been talking for a long time. So, y'all, I'm so sleepy. I am about to wind down, shower, get in the bed because we do have workouts in the morning. It is 1242 and we need to be asleep. So, I'll catch y'all on the flip side and the flip side is tomorrow. What's up? Happy Wednesday. Today is March 27th. It's the first day that I did not have to look at my watch to tell y'all the date in a very long time. In a good mood today, y'all. You want to know why? Because my man is coming home to his wife. 
My man is coming home and I'm happy about it. Okay. And we had a long work day, y'all. I had a meeting today that lasted damn near four hours. And we were talking about some legal stuff. So, they tried to take me out of the game. They tried to make my head hurt. But because my man coming home, I don't care about none of that. Sorry. Okay? We on the way to get these lashes taken care of. So, when that man see me, I can bat these eyes at him. <laughs> today i am on one today okay unfiltered i have been unfiltered all day i be trying to filter myself a little bit being on this camera but we're unfiltered today mm -hmm. yeah i left my lash pillow at home y'all i was running late for my meeting a little bit because it was just a lot going on this morning i didn't get to do my workout so I was planning to work out after work because before I pick up Myra from the airport, I had about an hour, maybe two. So I was planning to walk for like 30 to 40 minutes in between time. But girl, why is it raining? It's sprinkling a little bit. So I don't know what we're going to do. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Somebody got will suit on the audi q8 and i love that for them because when i get my q8 i'll sue baby don't play with me don't hit my car here we go i hope y'all are having a good day y'all we gotta talk about this diddy stuff diddy's life is ending before his eyes first they raided his house now some court documents came out saying that carisha please was an sex worker for him and he had her doing C-O-K-E. He had her cousins doing some freak-offs. If y'all was in tune with the Cassie situation, you know what a freak-off is. And for me, this is just a little bit too much. So, <laughs> we got to talk about this, y'all. And if you know anything about my nosy behind, please know that I am going to be reading those court documents to see what the true tea is because what's really going on what's wrong with diddy y'all is he sick he's sick in the head she's back my girl did her thing honey i look cute the lashes look amazing and we have a 40 minute drive to go see my man to go pick up my man from the airport i am going to probably park somewhere and work on a report while I wait on him. So that way when I get home, I ain't even got to do that. I could just spend time with my men and that's what I want to do. Y'all, not me thinking I was going to be able to sit and write a report before um, Myron landed. But he landed early. And not only that, we spent a lot of time in traffic. So I am here at the airport. I was a little bit further back. But the guy just told me to move. But I'm just like, it's cars on both sides. On the side that I'm on and the other side. Just sitting here parked. So why are you telling me and the car behind me to move? So you know what I did? I went up a little bit more and I pulled back over because he didn't tell these other cars to not sit stationary. So why are you even talking to me? Goodbye. The airport ain't even that busy to make somebody have to drive way back around. Let's be serious. Hi. He just said move. You ain't bring Rocco? I'm gonna work. What's up, y'all? He's back Tired. home, y'all. Okay, let me go. Tired, y'all. <laughs> I just was telling them no people was trying to make me go. Like, they was tripping. Yeah, like he mad. You cannot park here. That's what he told me. Sir, he's coming. Okay, I'm not going all the way back around. Come on. What's up, Daddy? <laughs> What's up, Daddy? <laughs> Y'all might got me catching up on BMF. The quality probably looks different because I am on my phone. And Mr. A don't want to go get my battery. I'm fresh home, you guys. Don't talk to them like that. You don't talk like that in real life. I'm fresh home. 
You guys. You guys. You ain't on top like that. Tell my son, you guys. You gotta respond to my wife. He want everybody to sponsor me, baby. That's what I'm talking about. BML. <laughs> sponsor sponsor yeah. me, baby. I'm a great writer, yeah, okay? Right. I could have been an author when I grew up. Me too. Oh, look. What you looking right? I can tell your story right now. Nah. Know. Your story gonna be horrible. Okay. You thought I was playing when I, uh, when I told me to bring it with my uh, paper? <laughs> Don't bring up what grade was this? Tenth grade. He's talking about tenth grade. I wrote the story so good. I still remember. What? <laughs> that little. It was a poem. You wrote a poem, not a story. I can write a story. Poem. I can write a script for the TV show. It was a poem. It was a story. Mm -hmm. Anyway, y'all. It was both. It was both. Hey y'all, it's the next day. We have some packages that we are about to unbox before we end this vlog. I have a package from Lorve. I have been wanting these shades, but they are always sold out. I have the red pair, but I just decided to get another color. Then I got this Fashion Over Order. Fashion Over One Day Shipping Zomp Play. Lorve, babe. Why one week after I ordered these shades, she, she currently has 28% off of her website and a pair of brown shades that I was going to get sold out. So. But yeah, I have been wanting these and I'm not the girl who stalks people's websites to see when stuff come back in stock. I just ain't got the discipline to do that. These are the denim grays. I do have these in red, but they're called Boast. I wore them for Valentine's Day. Yeah, they are a win. My babe said he liked them too, so yeah. Straight like that. Here's the red ones if you haven't seen them. These are Boast. Period. Off to being a Nova babe. Oh, I was just telling y'all about colored shades. I did order a pink pair because I got um, I got this super cute graphic tee. I am a graphic tee girl. But I got this super cute graphic tee that I can wear these with. Fashion Nova got some cute shades too. And these was like $6. Yeah. I think these would be super cute with this shirt. Let me show y'all the shirt. I think this would look super cute. I don't know, y'all. We might need to try this on to see if it's going to be too big or not. Okay. And I'm going to wear it. Hi at the front. Oh, yes, babe. I can see this looking too cute. Yeah. This could be like a cute little casual outfit. I also got this skirt which is supposed to be the main character of my weekend. Let's try on the skirt. Okay, yeah, it's cute. I like it. As you can see, it covers the back and it also covers the front. To style it, I probably would tuck one side in or I probably would only tuck in the front for church. Um, it's definitely giving classy. This is a, one of the sets that I ordered, it is called the McKenzie set. For church, I probably would tuck one side in and wear it like that with some cute gold accessories. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. But you can still see like the shirt in the pants because it is an oatmeal set, but I would wear it with either one side tucked or both. I'm kind of feeling both. This is called the McKenzie short sleeve pants set and they got blue brown pink green orange two shades of pink wow this is so cute look at all these colors they got y'all hold on i could do a screenshot on the screen but i ain't making no promises this is the one i got i got the oatmeal one it's 31.99 
I'm gonna send that place I set that I got back and I'm gonna get two more colors. I'm gonna get chocolate brown and orange or this blue and orange for spring and summer. That way I'll have a nude and then two colors. Ooh, they got black. Child, this might be an every color type of thing because this is so freaking cute. This is the place they say, although it is cute. Probably fits real cute too. But I'm gonna send it back because I want these orange ones. And they got real good reviews too. They have other colors in this as well. But anyway, y'all, we are going to end this vlog off right here. We have already started the weekend vlog, so here's a good place to, to stop this one, okay? If you have made it this far, please let me know your favorite part of the video. Meet me in the comments. You can talk about church that we talked about in this video. You can talk about this mini trial. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Meet me in the comments. Let's chat. And then also like this video. Don't forget to subscribe or share the video with a friend. And meet me in the next video, girl. <laughs> I will see y'all in the next vloggy vlog. Bye.